Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo for a fire department they've evidently drawn. And there are several things they want to do. They want to take a, have a, so the helmet shows up. And that could be done. But unless you need this exact configuration, here's one I found off the internet. This is the clip art. And then this is, I traced it and it traced really good. And there's a couple of problems with their drawing. One, uh, I guess this is like emergency services, too big, the ladder too big. Uh, this isn't even. And that type of stuff really needs to be even. So let's just kind of change this. And let's take the word, and, and then the other thing, the fire department needs to be more in the middle of this. So we're going to, we're going to look at a couple of things. We're going to move this out of the way. And then we're going to move all this out of the way twice. So I can put this back in the center because I'm going to redraw this to make it even. As you can see, these are almost touching. So what we can do, you know, if we look and there's a lot of nodes right there. If we will take these and right click and break them apart, take these and right click and break them apart, we should be able to take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. So we have a pretty good drawing of the first one. And there's actually a, another node there we could probably delete. Uh, I'm gonna delete all the nodes I don't need well, evidently we need those when they drew them. I'm trying to get a little cleaner because we're going to rotate this guy. I've already deleted the other one short, so we're good there. Now, I'm going to bring in some indexing lines and put them in, put them in this. Let me nudge that. Ah, let me just back up here. Let me bring in an indexing, indexing, indexing line and hit P and an indexing line and hit P. And then we're going to try to rotate this guy. So we're going to control D. You need to change your duplicate distance to zero, zero. And this is a very good reason why. Control D and then it makes a du duplicate right on top of it. Then we're going to change the rotation of the center of the page. And then just to kind of look at it, we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just back up here and rotate it 90 degrees. And see, we're a little bit close there. And then we got some lines that are offset. So I'm going to tweak this a little bit. I'm going to take our original. Tell you what, I'm just going to delete. Let me just back up here. And I'm going to take, you know, for right now, I'm going to delete that line and delete that line and delete that. So we have less nodes. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to, and it's CMYK, I'm going to change the thickness to a hairline and make it black. That'll be a lot easier to work with. And so we can control D move our center rotation to the center and we'll rotate it 90 degrees. That looks pretty good with the exception that when we make those lines thicker, that's probably a little bit too close. So let's take this object and let's grab just these three nodes and just move them up just a hair. Now what I would do is Let's get rid of this one. Let's grab the shape tool and let's make this. If you have X7 or above, you'll have the shape tool. Make it a half an inch. Well, that's still too big, 0.2 inches. And let's just smooth that out a little bit. Now to make both of them the same, we're going to control D and, and then mirror the second one. And you see what we got, it's, it's completely different. 
So what we're gonna do is take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line and that line and that line and this line and actually this inside line and inside line. So now it's a little more even. We're gonna take a two point line and go from that node to that node. And we're a little bit off as you can see. It's not a perpendicular line, but it does. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Take the smart fill tool and fill that in and now we have that shape. Now I'm gonna nudge that over and I'm gonna put it right back. And then I'm gonna left click, right click, and then I can take away my, uh, my line. And we could have also done it like that with a mirror. But we're gonna take the shape tool and break that apart. I'm just right clicking the mouse and then we can break that. The indexing line actually stopped it. Now let's control D and make a duplicate. Move the center rotation in the center and rotate it that 90 degrees. It's a little bit further apart, that's good. So now we're at least equal apart. Now this is gonna be connected by a circle <clears throat> and in her drawing the circle is pretty big. I'm gonna try to see if she's, yes, we'll, we'll just redo this fire department. And let's see what this is. This is a CMYK. I'm going to left click or right click. I'm going to make this a hairline and then move it right back. So we're within, we're within our boundary almost. So what we can do is take the shift tool and just make it quite a bit bigger. And you would have to play around with that, what you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and knock these off. Not really important yet, but we do want to make this a line. So what we're going to do are a, a um, thick line. So we can do two things. Now we can make it, let's make it a, let me move this out of the way so we can see it when it happens maybe a little bit thicker. That's a little bit too thick. That's good. Make it a RGB. So I'm going to, I'm going to left click it. Now it's an RGB line. That's already an RGB line. We're going to make, we're going to make all the lines that same thickness. So I'm going to double click on my pen tool. And you see how now we're, more equal and we're good to go with that. The way I would do text to path on the on the middle part now would be to maybe take the smart fill tool and fill this in and left click, right click. And really we want it kind of like right in the middle. So we're gonna write fire all caps and Let's see how about big there. That's about the same size, a little bit bigger. And what I can do now is go text, text the path. And whenever you get something like that, it's because it's the way it started. So just back up here and look at your nodes. And we're starting here and going that away. And probably the easiest thing to do would be to do this. I'm going to make a duplicate of this, control D and move it over. And I'm going to take this one and I am going to take my nodes and I'm going to right click, break apart, right click, break apart. Then I can take my virtual segment delete key and then I've only got that line. And then take your shape tool and make sure it's going in that direction. Now this word's a little bit big for that shape, but maybe it'll work. Text, text a path, put it on that path. We're pretty good, but you know that we're, we're high, but that doesn't matter yet. Now what we can do is select it all, 
go up to object, break the text apart, and then we could take the text and nudge it over here. And then while holding down, start moving while holding down the control button, just kind of move it to the center. That looks a lot better. Uh, she's got a thicker text. Whoop. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker, see if it doesn't mess it up. Same thing on fire department, I'm not gonna just do the opposite. Now, now there are some things in her drawing. There's a ladder here. We can move it over, but I would make it smaller. You know, to edge it down just a little bit. Then you could move it up. And unless you need that exact same thing, this is way too big. So let's left click, right click. You could redraw it, but we can go to effects and contour. Contour to the inside. Oh, well, let's say 0.2 in black. That didn't work. Tell you what, let me nudge that over out of the way. It's just an outline. So I should be able to contour. I don't know why I won't let me do. There's something wrong with this drawing. Let me look at it with a yellow box. Nope, it's good to go, it should contour. So if you ever have a problem like that, one thing we can do, we can take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in, then nudge it down and over, and then left click, right click, and what we've done, we've made a new one. Contour too large, 0 0.02. There we go. We made it a little bit smaller. And we could have done it several ways. You could have just reduced it. Well, let me back up here and do it 0 0.04. So there wasn't anything wrong with it. I just, I had it set on too many steps. Now, because we've nudged, we can nudge right back. And that's still, to me, a little bit big. But what you could do is hold down the shift key and it'll grow from the center or grow or get smaller from the center. Now we just need to figure out what we're gonna put on the inside. Um, I, if you don't have to have that exact one, and also there's a, um, you know, ladder and a fire hydrant on this one, I'm going to go to object and group and ungroup and see if we can't grab just, I'll tell you what, let's just delete everything else except for the ladder. And you might even want to use, you know, you could use part of this, other parts, and we have some ghost stuff there. But I would just control G and group that together. And we've got some ghost stuff. See how my bounty box is bigger? So let's back up and ungroup it. And then we have a bunch of ghosts. There we go. Now control G and group it together and then hit, hit P. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, it's got some items on there you might not want. And if you still need help, she can let me know. I'm going to hold down the shift key and make it a little bit bigger. Now, there's actually something going on here. There's a circle around there. So what we do is go and go to group and ungroup and see if we can't get rid of that circle. We did. Now, might be a little bit hard to do this uh, because we've ungrouped it. Yep, see if you do that, you're gonna do that. So a couple ways you can do it is just take your nudge tool and nudge everything down. I love the nudge tool because you can do stuff like that. Then you can grab that and turn it black. That looks pretty good now. The original has, um, the helmet has some parts so you can use the smart fill tool and we can fill that in, that in, that in. And this needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But that looks pretty good. And then just nudge everything else back up. And then when you put that in apartment, you really have the pretty good white, the pretty good curve. Um, 
and you might even want to use your wordage. But that, to me, is a finished product that would engrave good. You know, just make sure everything is in RGB. See, this is CMYK, so we're going to change it to RGB. Because you don't want part of it one um, color and the other part. It, I don't know. They say it makes a difference, but I have yet to see. Um, I really yet ever. I need to do a test on that. So if that helped you, let me know. I will send you this trace file that you can play around with. And I'll send, I'll just send you this whole thing and then I'll, I'll uh, trace this one again so you'll have it. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.